weekend snowfalls in Otago might have been fun for city folk and tourists, but for farmers out in the Maniatoto, it's just another day in an often harsh farming environment. Farmers in the Lee Stream Clark Junction area normally expect at least one to two small falls every year of about 16 to 18 centimetres, but the recent polar blast saw falls up to a metre deep blanketing their paddocks. For some like Rodney Ruxton, it meant using a combination of aerial and heavyweight hardware to get feed out to his stock on his 4,000 acre property near Clark's Junction. Ruxton used his Robertson R22 helicopter to fly feed out to the many small herds of sheep and cattle that had been stranded far out on the edges of his property. To get to the closer herds, he enlisted the aid of a dozer to clear tracks up to the paddocks. The metre-high snowdrifts have meant that many of his stock simply walked across the buried fence lines and have merged into bigger herds for heat and shelter, from the polar winds still making life very uncomfortable out on the exposed paddocks. While farmers further up the Miniatoto have called for help snow raking to aid their stock trapped in the hills, Ruxton says recent strong winds have helped to drop the snow levels there back to more manageable levels, but admits it's still going to be a long, hard winter this year. Forecasters predict the weather to remain cold and wet for the rest of the week, meaning the snow will be around for a while yet before it melts and then makes life difficult for farmers further down on the Tauri Plains still suffering from the recent floods.